And now we have continuing coverage of this morning's barge fire that, according to a Chris 6 News source, left one person dead and another missing. The Coast Guard will only confirm that two people are missing. It happened just over three miles from the Port Aransas area out in the Gulf. Chris 6 News reporter Tessa Barrera tells us what happened. After we saw the big old mushroom cloud, you hear a loud bang. Then you can just see a big old blaze off in the distance. At approximately 4.35 a.m., the local Coast Guard received an emergency call from the still fishing waters of Port Aransas. But yeah, it was it was crazy. Like I said, it, it, you, it was so bright, you would have thought the sun was coming up. Again, it was one of those things you thought it was a dream, but what, you didn't know what the heck it was. So I just went back to bed and that was the end of it. So, uh, But now, clearly, I, we can all see that uh, it's pretty wild. The eyewitness accounts are incredible. Basically, what I remember is feeling it. Not just seeing it and hearing it, but feeling it and looking up and it lit up the skies. But the details of what actually happened are bone chilling. An ocean going tug and barge system were headed to the port of Corpus Christi when something went terribly wrong. The crew began to pull in the anchor when an explosion rocked the front of the barge. I thought I was back in Afghanistan. I was like, damn. The Coast Guard began air monitoring and set up a 1,000-yard safety zone around the barge as it burned earlier today. The fire is out, but Coast Guard crews will remain on watch in case the vessel flares up. Tessa Barrera, Chris 6 News. Now the Coast Guard says that it will continue its search. That barge fire also caused an oil spill. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo is covering that part of the story for us. She's joining us live from Port Aransas. Ashley, um, obviously this raises uh, some alarms. How large is this spill? Well, Stephania, the, the Coast Guard tells me that, that the spill is two miles by a quarter mile wide, and that seems pretty big for an oil spill, but for the Coast Guard, that is considered containable. Right now, a boom is being taken to the scene to help contain the spill. Booms float on top of the water and are a great tool in reducing any environmental damage. As for the barge, it is owned by Bouchard Transportation Company, company based in New York. Of course, we'll keep you updated on any new information that does come out. Reporting live for Chris 6 News, I'm Ashley Portillo. Back to you, Stephanie. All right, thank you, Ashley. You know, it's too soon to tell what, if any, impact uh, this spill and barge fire will have on the environment. It is, however, having an impact on operations at the port of Corpus Christi. The port is under temporary closure because of that fire. The lifting of that closure depends on when the barge is stabilized. Well, anytime you shut down the port, there's an economic impact. But as long as we don't have it shut too long, if we can get it reopened this weekend, we'll be okay. That's right. Something like a hundred thousand, a hundred million dollars worth of uh, products come in and out of our port every day. Port officials say that some vessels haven't been able to get into the port because of the fire, but it's uh, not a very large number of vessels so far.